out, friends, and welcome back. You may notice that I have on another new name tag today. As normal, it has my name, Mr. A, but it also has these numbers under each letter. Can you guess why? Well, if you don't know right now, you will know by the end of today's episode. And you will know what each of these numbers mean. It's going to be fun finding out. Today, we're going to discuss a neat way that computers keep us and our information safe. But the neatest thing about it is that you can use it to write down secret messages to your friends or family. Really, tell them the truth. It's a secret to everybody. Won't that be neat? You can write a message in a way that more than likely only the person that you want to get it can understand what you're saying. Nobody else. How, you ask? Is Mr. A pulling your leg? Well, today we're going to discuss these funny things called ciphers. What is a cipher other than a funny word? Well, the short of it is a cipher is a secret way of writing. One of the simplest ciphers out there is where we take the alphabet in order, A to Z, and we apply a numeral value to each letter, 1 through 26, just like this. See how A becomes 1 and B becomes 2, M is 13, Y is 25, and Z is 26. So we've now represented, or we've set up our cipher where each of these letters, A through Z, is represented by a number. Then instead of writing out our note in letters, we use the numbers that are associated with those letters. Let me get a piece of paper here and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to get a pencil too, that way I can erase in case I make a mistake. Find one that actually has some lead in it, how about that? Well, there we go, we'll try this one. Okay, so, why don't we write out a simple message using our simple alphabet cipher? Hmm, what should we try to write? I know, why don't we use our simple alphabet cipher to write out computers are fun in a secret message? I'm going to show you how that would work first on this sheet. So, if I think about my message. P-U-T-E-R-S-A-R-E-F-U-N. -E okay. okay, so I think about my message here, computers are fun, and I want to find out what the corresponding numbers are. So I go up here to my cipher. C is what? 3, that's right. O is 15, M is 13, P is 16, U, 21, T is 20, E is 5, R is 18, and S is 19. Then we go over here. A is 1. Very simple. R is 18. E is 5. Ooh, I said E is 5, and I started writing E out. It's not very good for my cipher, is it? 5, and then F is 6. U is 21, and then N is 14. And now let's say I want to give this to someone. Then I can take my scissors, or I could write it down on another sheet of paper, and I could cut out that line. And cut out that message. Now, obviously, I don't want to leave computers are fun on there. I just want the numbers. I just want the coded message. Okay, so there it is. So that is that's what you would give to someone. That right there. That's all you give it to them, and that has our secret message on it. But now, if you give that to someone, how are they going to know what they mean? Well, you also have to give them the cipher, or you have to tell them what the cipher is. You can tell this, you can tell somebody this one pretty easily. Just start with A is 1 and go up to Z, which is 26. But you can also write your cipher out pretty quickly. And let's see if I've got something that will write a little bit darker for you all to see, see on my paper. Just hope I don't make a mistake this time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Can you say the alphabet without singing it? It's kind of hard. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five. Five letters. Ah, 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 ah. Some of you are too young to know what count the count is off of Sesame Street. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. Woo! Thought I'd messed up counting there for a second. Now, I did mine this way, and I have these nice sheets printed out with these blocks. You don't have to do it. You can take a sheet of notebook paper and go down the side and just number down the side and then, then put your letters outside that. So, here is your note. Here's your message, your ciphered message or coded message. And here's your cipher that you're going to give your friend at a different time. Okay, that way it's secure. So, I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to make it out to my friend. That's you. So there's your coded message. And then I'm going to take the cipher. And I'm going to tell my friend. I'm going to tell you that later I'll tell you how to read that. My friend. Okay. Or we can agree to a cipher that we just always have, and then any message we send, we use that same cipher. Okay? So, your friend has this, they get their message, and then they go back and they say, okay, here we go. They have their numbers, and they're looking at their cipher sheet here. And 3 is C, 15 is O, and 13 is M. And we know what this spells out because we just did it. It spells out computers are fun. Ciphers are fun, aren't they? Okay. Wow, that was great. Do you see how you could send a message to a friend and then if someone else found the message, they would just see some numbers and not know what you were trying to say? Now, it would not take much for someone to figure out this cipher, right? We call this cracking a cipher. When you figure out someone else's cipher, you're cracking that cipher. Why do you think we call it cracking? Do you think maybe it's because we're breaking into the secret? Our simple alphabet cipher is not hard for anyone to crack, right? I mean, it is simple, just as the name suggests. But just like a computer, you can make more difficult ciphers that maybe others can't guess. We can shift our cipher, for example. Let's say that we cut off a portion of this. And we do what's called a shift in our cipher. So instead of going 1 through 26, I'm going to shift my numbers up by 5. Do you see then that it's still pretty simple, but it's not as simple. A is no longer 1. F is 1. And it goes through the end of the alphabet and starts back over. Or we could shift our cipher the other way. You could start with A being 6. See how I'm just shifting that down? Taking 5 off the end and then shifting those numbers down. Once again, it's another cipher. Okay? Or we could do a random alphabet cipher. Well, basically, we just take all the letters and we rearrange them. Let's see how this one works. We're not going to do quite as long a message. This time, let's do friends. Okay? We can do that pretty quickly. So here's our alphabet. Here's our cipher. So if we want an F, we're going to rep represent it, or we're going to use what in the cipher? That's right, a B. Okay? okay? So B, and then we want an R, which then turns into or corresponds, is represented by G in our cipher. Then we want an I, which is represented by D. We want an E, which is represented by X. Then we want an N, which is represented by E. We want a D, which is represented by C. And we want a S, which is represented by B. Okay, think about it for a second. If somebody just walked up to you, and you didn't know about this cipher. You didn't know the random lettering that they'd used. And they gave this to you. B, 
B-G-D-X-E-C-V. Could you ever guess that they were trying to spell friends out? Well, probably, you might, but probably not, because this is a pretty difficult cipher, because it's random, okay? But if you have the cipher, then you can go backwards. You can figure it out. So I'm going to shift this up here, and I'm going to look for the B up top. B becomes what? F. Then look for the G up top. becomes R. Then look for the D up top. I. Then look for the X up top. E. And then look for the E up top. becomes N. And then the C up top becomes D. And the B up top becomes S. And we see from by using our cipher and reversing it, we go from B, G, D, X, E, C, B, which nobody knows what that means, to friends, which we all know what that is because you're my friend, okay? Now, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to give you the key, okay? And I'm going to see if you can figure it out on your own from the key, okay? So let's move this to the side. Let's get a clean sheet of paper. I'm going to go ahead and use my blocks again. And I'm going to write my coded message up here without you knowing what the cipher is yet. Okay. Can you figure it out? I'll read it to you just in case you can't. That's R space Z N space S Z K K B space B L F space Z I B space N B space K Z zero and exclamation mark exclamation mark Woo! What do you mean you don't know what it says? Take a couple seconds. Pause the video. See if you can think about it a little bit. Okay. Well, we're back. Are you ready to know what your secret message I wrote to you says? Well, this is a pretty simple cipher, too, if you figured it out. Good job, though, because it wasn't obvious. But basically what I do, I just took the alphabet, and then I reversed it for my cipher. So I'm going to translate now using my cipher. So R, I'm looking for R up top, becomes I. Z becomes A. N becomes M, I am. S becomes H. Z becomes A. K becomes P. Another K, which is still P. And then B becomes Y. I am happy. B becomes Y. L becomes O. F becomes U. I am happy, U. Z becomes A. I becomes R. V becomes E. N becomes M. B becomes Y. I am happy, you are my... Hmm, not enough letters for friend. I don't know what it says. K becomes P, Z becomes A, and O becomes L. An exclamation mark. I am happy you are my pal. Hmm, pal. That's another word for friend if you didn't know that. And I am very happy that you are my pal. Okay. Well, like I told you, ciphers are pretty neat, right? This is one of the major ways that computers keep us and our information safe. Though computer ciphers are much more involved and much harder to crack. I tell you what, why don't you come up with a cipher of your own? Write a message using your cipher to a parent or friend. But remember to give them the key on a separate piece of paper so they can decipher it or understand it. That's what decipher means, to undo the cipher, to understand it. And I bet once you explain to them how ciphers work, They'll be as, just as amazed as you are, and I am about them. Why don't you ask them if they want to try to crack a message that you send using a cipher? But little hint, don't make it too hard. And remember to write down your key. You and your parents might be surprised, or your friend. Have you figured out my name tag yet? Yeah, the numbers below my name are using our simple alphabet cipher. M-R-A, Mr. A. 
Well, that is all the time we have for today, friends. We will see you real soon on our next episode of Computers Are Fun. See ya.